Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I was looking around pretty well too. You didn't see the other five? The other five? Oh, You're joking. Man. All right, we got some work to do. We There's got some another work to do. five of you. <laughs> Always look up. <laughs> so when we talk about camouflage, there's seven S's to consider the okay. letter S, Sensei right? Sensei Seth, that's the first Sensei two. Sensei Seth is the first two, so now there's nine. There's three that refer to your appearance, and then there's three that refer to your movement, and then there's one extra to add. So the first one is shape. The human shape is one of the most recognizable shapes that you have. There's five Vs to a human shape. One V, two Vs, three Vs, four Vs, five Vs. So we need to disrupt those Vs as we're camouflaging. So we could do that in a number of ways. We could do it by having something that has like texture to it or that 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 spreads out. So yeah. one of the common ways that you'd see in like a military application is a ghillie suit. So a ghillie suit would be something like this that is a camouflage material. This is just a ghillie cape. And these are quick to make and quick to throw away. You can sort of drape them over yourself. It breaks up your outline and it changes your shape. And this, even with that blue background, right. it'll, it'll break up the shape a little bit and it's not as recognizable. It's not so like hard line, hard line. Exactly. Muscle, yeah, okay. All the muscles. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is an easy thing to sort of carry, but a poncho does it. I did it like when you saw when I came up with the branches, yep. right? Yep. So you can break up your outline yeah, with the it, vegetation. It, it, circular it just changes it, right? right. You know, the, the ninja idea of the, the guy in the black clad suit so he blends in with the shadows yeah. is fine. But if you're ever caught in that situation, you're clearly guilty, right? Like you're wearing you're wearing a suit that you know only a bad guy in Japan would wear. So in reality, the ninja would strive to blend in with the local populace as best they can, and with the natural environment. Today, I've just picked like sort of brown and gray. As you look around, it's mostly shades of brown and gray. Most people think green with yeah. camouflage. Yeah. And uh, and there is some green out there, but it's just yeah. a lot less. Not right now. Yeah, no, not right it's now. It's pretty brown. The camouflage that you wear, you'd want to look like something that you were wearing in like a normal environment. Yeah. And uh, and if you were to walk into public, you wouldn't want to stand out. So again, like I've got like a little camouflage buff, but fortunately right now people are wearing buffs and masks and yeah, things, right. so it's not a big deal. Then when it comes in terms of like actual camouflage, if you're really going to be out in a recon situation or something, you may want to do a little more dedicated camouflage practice. Hey, Destro, stand up. There's not somebody else out there. Wow. All right. Destro, walk in this way. So Destro's wearing a, uh, a mimic style camouflage. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, like a leaf suit on top. This is available for hunters, but a lot of military applications for something like this. The pant is sort of a... Sorry, just checking. <laughs> the pants are set up to sort of mimic the ground and that sort of stuff. And as long as the season's right, yeah. this works great. Yeah, right. Yeah. Noopsie, stand up! Oh my god. So the Noopsie's breakdown is a little bit different. Not specifically meant to mimic anything, but just to break up the outline and the silhouette and the shape. Yeah. Uh, you can see with both Noopsie and Destro, we did go ahead and we, we painted their eyes to, uh, to knock down the shine. The next thing, is shine. You have stuff like the reflective bit of your watch. So I tend to wear my watches down so they don't stand out. The oil on our skin yeah. is gonna shine. Okay. Our teeth will shine, our eyes will shine. So what we did to sort of mitigate the shine in this case, we put gloves on. And we had shiny gloves coming in, so I added a little texture over the top just to get rid of some of that glare. Yeah. Because you can see the difference between the tips of these shiny gloves versus this textured glove. And then we had oil on the face. Now we were gonna go ahead and wear a headgear, but what we did is we painted up, and what we tried to do to kill some of that shine is just put sort of a matte black. You can see it's starting to rub off a little bit here, and you can see the reflection of the shine. And if you combine that, it'll knock a lot of that shine down. You're gonna blend in with this pattern. It's sort of brown, uh, not a lot of green on it. Again, but it should be really good given the uh, time of year that we're in and the, the deciduous sort of leave backdrop. Now what we do have to do now is get rid of the shine and change your shape. I do have a specific shimmer you, about me. You are glowing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you were pregnant, but yeah. Yeah, I get asked yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so we can knock the shine down on primarily be your face and your hands. Okay. So we've got a, like a head covering, like a ninja style balaclava. Okay. You wanna give that a shot? Yeah, okay. All right. And in your hands, all right? So these would be a little glove just to knock some of the shine off your hands. Okay, yeah. Now we do want to go ahead and camouflage the tips of your fingers if we can, and this little bit of your eyes, and we can go ahead and do your whole face if okay. we want. Since we've already done some camo paint on some of our folks that you've seen already, yeah. let's change gears and let's look at some natural camouflage. Natural camouflage. Since you're wearing natural gear, let's do natural camouflage. As long as it's not like deer poop. No, something. it might be deer poop. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Perfect. Well, I mean, I don't make the rules. All right. <laughs> Perfect. So you want to think about your gear. You want to think about anything that you have that might have a reflective surface, like a water bottle, your weapon. For your mission today, your primary weapon is going to be this blowgun. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and camouflage it. This you could use to camouflage any piece of gear that you have, and we're going to follow those principles, right? So we're going to camouflage the shape of it eventually, but first we want to knock down the shine. So we're going to use a flat paint. Typically when you're painting a, a tool like this, you want to use the lighter color first. And there's something about this sort of like flat, like khaki or sort of military light brown that reflects the material around it and it sort of takes on that color. So okay. even if the environment's not this color, the yeah. light reflecting off of it looks similar. So what we'll yeah. do is we'll take this first, we'll lightly coat the whole thing with this, and then we'll start applying some pattern to it. So if we really were gonna camouflage this whole thing up, we would want to take something and rough up the texture a bit okay. because this being smooth, this yeah, paint will, will flake off. But uh, for our purposes today, I'm just gonna hit it sort of light. And then we're gonna add some texture. Can I borrow your cake? Yeah, don't put any of this camouflage down because you'll lose it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so a real Sorry. cool thing to make a pattern on any of your gear is to take a net and just drape over it and then spray X's yeah. through the net. And it sort of gives you that really neat sort of break up pattern. A little bit of green is fine, but people typically overdo the green. And then we start getting something that looks organic, is gonna blend in to the environment a little bit better. And you can do this with any weapon system, Nalgene type water bottles, something like that, to give them a really cool, like really effective camouflage pattern. Once it's dry, it'll look pretty cool. So I can't use it right now? Not yet. That blows. <laughs> the next is shadow. So the shadow is the ninja's friend, right? We're gonna get in the shadow, that dark is gonna eliminate some of the shine, but the shadows that we cast can also like highlight the shape that we're trying to disguise. So when we do these camouflage paint things, what we'll do is we'll try to lighten up the areas that are normally dark. So if you notice again on Noob, see how we've got sort of that brighter green underneath. And then we try to darken up the areas that are more light, like your forehead, your bridge, your nose, your cheekbones. So one of the ways that people would, they'll make like a star pattern. They'll, their top of their head will be sort of dark and they'll bring the dark down the bridge of their nose and then out over their cheekbones. Mm. And it's not really a star, but we call it a star. It's like the opposite of contouring the opposite for makeup. Of, yeah, we want to- Pretty much anything that humans do, just like make it wrong. Make it wrong, just reverse it. Are you stretching? Are you posing? <laughs> How'd you see me? I, I, I did ninja intuition. Nintuition, if you will. Sorry. <laughs> All right, these are going to be our two natural pigments that we're going to start with. And this is just sort of the orange clay like we have in central North Carolina. It's going to be the lighter of the two. And then we've got coal. Coals from the fire is fine, but you don't want to take the white ash and mix in because it can, um, it's sort of caustic. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. okay. Sweet. Cool. Sweet. Yep. And you want to be really thorough. You've got the headgear, so you don't have to get in the ears, but if you didn't have headgear, your ears are one of the places that stand out the most. Yeah. So really like all of the face that you're going to hit. So it's not a big deal. This is for you guys. You know, <laughs> just like the video, man. <laughs> Doing great. Thanks. It's a good start. So what we want to do is break up any symmetry in your face okay. and knock down any shine. I'm really excited for the prom this year. Yeah. What's the theme? Uh, dirt. <laughs> <It's> dirt. <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this black pigment now, but while I'm doing that, cover your fingers in. Your oh, I'm right. I'm, I'm all over it. All right. all right. And we don't want to go too heavy with the black again, but that, yeah. that texture looks great. We're looking pretty good. All right. One last thing. Can you lay on your back? So what's the plan? For <coughs> dirt. The, dirt. Damn, the plan was dirt. Okay. All right. I think we're pretty good. Okay. I can't even see me. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that's in regard to as we're, as we're standing still, and obviously you want to blend in with the environment. It's like seven S's and a B. Okay. Right? <laughs> so then we have movement, right? <laughs> Just keeps getting longer. With movement, the first thing we have is speed. People move at a certain pace and it's sort of rhythmic and we want to get rid of that. So we want to move erratically and slowly, right? That's the best. You ever seen like a chameleon? Yeah, yeah, Walk yeah. On the, yeah same yeah, idea, it's right? Like eerie. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Okay. And it sort of will look like the leaves in the breeze or things like that. But again, like a normal walking pace is sure to give off 
Um, yeah. So it's just gonna, you're gonna pick it up. Right. The other thing it'll do is it'll, it'll throw a certain sound and we have to consider our sound. So the sound a person makes is something to consider. You've got your gear gonna make noise, so your keys or your water bottle in your backpack. So yep. you know, like a military doctrine a lot of times is to like completely drain your canteen and fill it all the way back up mm. or carry so your water. No, like, there's no sloshing and stuff, right? Yeah. So you carry it in the camel back because the, as the hydration bladder shrinks, it keeps the water tight and it doesn't make as much noise. Mm -hmm. But noise discipline is really important not talking out loud so you know preference for using hand signals and that sort of stuff to communicate I'm, I'm a good ninja mid-afternoon but like early in the morning when I first get out of bed I'm really stiff and my knees and my ankles and everything pop oh. so not so good of a ninja not not a good early morning ninja. yeah yeah, yeah. right there's, there's specific times you gotta know what your yeah. strengths are absolutely is that's, that the next one yeah strengths you gotta know your strengths <laughs> yeah no so we've got these three for your uh, appearance your shape your shine your shadow then we've got speed and sound, and then the last one, I don't know how to spell, so we'll go here, but it's silhouette. Miss Mahdi. H-O-U-E-T-T-E. E-T-T-E, silhouette. Oh, I missed another E there, too. So silhouette is related to shape, yeah. but in terms of movement, what you want to do is you not you don't want to silhouette yourself. You don't want to come up where you're backlit, like coming over the edge of a hill, you're going to be backlit, coming yeah. across a window, you're going to be backlit. So you want to right. pay attention to making sure you are not backlit. Like if I'm right here, this is very obviously a me. That's a you. That's right. even, even with the outfit. Even with the outfit, this is pretty clearly a me, right? But I guess, um, maybe like... Maybe like this, you think this would be better? Because it's, I'm kind of like flat with the light, oh, within the shadow. The shadow, right? So... I've got a lot of work. Yeah, we've we got some work to do. Yeah. But we'll work on it. And then the last thing to consider, this gives a lot of people away, believe it or not, is smell. That's interesting you say that. Yep. Because half the kids in my high school that wore camouflage wore cologne on it. And I always thought that was really funny. Yeah, so don't do that. Yeah, that yeah. seems just like really it, counterproductive. There was many stories that came back from Vietnam from both sides where they could smell the opposing force long before they saw them, right? You could mm. smell particularly campfire smoke and tobacco smoke. It's also the yeah. smell that was in my high school. Absolutely, right? That particular <laughs> minty skull. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. So avoid that if you can. Okay. And, uh, and try to smell as natural as possible. I, so I did not bathe or put on deodorant this morning. Perfect. We'll roll you around in leaves too, so you'll yep. be good. So these are the seven S's, and then we've got Sensei Seth that we'll add at the end, but shape, shine, and shadow. Change your shape, knock down your shine, take advantage of the effects of shadows. Move slowly or appropriately. The speed, okay. like you're gonna move with the natural noises. Yeah. So we're out here, we've got some traffic noises. If you have birds, if you have the, the, the winds moving, that's, that's the time to go. That's okay. the time yeah. to move, Good to know. right? Take advantage of the ambient sound, blend with it, and then knock down your own sound, practice sound discipline, and then make sure you smell like leaves. Okay, yep. you smell like leaves. Any questions? Uh, yeah, last thing is I would probably, we're just gonna, just so I, I can get a better representation, we're gonna change my shape just a little bit. What's that called, the chubby surprise? Yeah, that's it. Okay, now I'm ready. All right. Perfect. Perfect.